Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about how to find shortest control path finder for a hybrid electrical vehicle control using MATLAB Simlink. This example shows how to find the shortest control path for a hybrid electrical vehicle using signal tracing command line API. Let us see the Simlink model. And this is a Simlink model, it shows the power demand estimations. In this model, a hybrid electrical vehicle uh, drives on a slope and the initial speed is 0 uh, meter per second. Then set the target speed up to 30 meter per second here. Here these are driver subsystem, these were power demand estimation subsystem, these were vehicle dy dynamic subsystem. Finally, you can see the scope is the actual speed of the vehicle uh, uh, constantly returning to the driver through the feedback loop uh, until the vehicle reaches their target speed. So, in this model, you can uh, able to find out the uh, signal path, shortest control path for this hybrid electrical vehicle. Here in this driver subsystem, a PID control uh, compares the actual speeds uh, with target speed and sends a command to increase or decrease speed to the power demand estimation model, this, this model. This power demand estimation uh, subsystem converts the desired power and the power is primarily provided by the electrical motor. If electrical motor is unable to provide enough torque, then the engine provides additional torque. Then this power demand estimation, engine power and motor power uh, input blocks uh, apply to the vehicle dynamics blocks. In this vehicle dynamic uh, subsystem, road resistance uh, including rolling resistance and gravity resistance as well as the aero dragger calculated here. Finally, the vehicle speed, uh, actual speed of the vehicle is constantly. Uh, return to the driver uh, through the feedback loop until the vehicle reaches the target speed. This is a similar model of hybrid electric vehicle control power demand estimation uh, model. Next, how to trace all the sources that control the actual speeds by using the signal scope, by using the signal tracing API to find the shortest control path to the actual speed. Since the actual speed signal goes to the second input of the, uh, of the scope here, this one, uh, use scope as the tracing origin. By using this command, we can get uh, this type of outputs, uh, target speed versus vehicle dynamics scope is showing here. Then obtain the trace graph. The next slide shows the tracing uh, results. The tracing results can be expressed as a MATLAB diagraph. This uh, trace graph includes uh, edges and nodes. A node in a trace graph corresponds to a black, po black port in a Simulink model, what we discuss later. Then uh, the second port of uh, scope is node. The edges are shown as per the um, node indexes in the say, trace graph. How to compute this one? You compute the edges of the trace graph of the SL trace dot graph object MATLAB object. Then use the uh, built in MATLAB. Uh, diagraph features you can plot this trace graph as shown in the figure like this then find the uh, shortest path from trace graph the once trace graph is uh, developed we can find the shortest uh, path from the trace graph here you can see previous one is the trace graph here uh, here there are two types of edges are there one is real edges and another one is virtual edges include the virtual edges and the real edges includes uh, internal edges and uh, hidden edges. First, filter out the uh, virtual edges using the MATLAB find function. Here, the start node is output port of the target speed. This one, output port of target speed. This one, 30. And the end node is uh, second input port of the scope. Use the scope uh, nodes table to obtain the node indexes of the start node and end node and compute status path between them is show showing this figure. Here also from the workspace you can also uh, obtain the table, this is a nodes table, obtain the uh, node indexes of the start node and end node and also you can uh, based on the table you can find out the shortest path between uh, these uh, two nodes. Here uh, then after finding this uh, two types of edges you can filter out the virtual edges using the MATLAB find function and also uh, process each node in the shortest path to obtain the corresponding blocks and segments. Uh, since one source node may be connected to the multiple destination nodes, it iterates over all the edges from the same source node 
and find the target destination node on the shortest path. Then after second process is and the process and the last node in the shortest path and highlight the shortest path in the simulation model as shown in the figure like this. Then afterwards the simulation after uh, running the simulation we can get the two types of uh, graphs. First one is the uh, scope using this scope block and the next one is the uh, trace graph. Uh, this is a simulation shows shortest control path for a hybrid electrical vehicle. Let us see the simulation part here in this uh, script MATLAB script to find the shortest control path in a simulic model. For this example, uh, you, you, you need this simulic block that is a SL demo underscore HEVC. Is it already available in this example folder? Also, we are uh, um, providing this file into MATLAB into um, in, in my channel description box kindly download it and use it for educational purpose. In this model uh, uh, what we will discuss in um, PPT session we are seeing now uh, you run this uh, model first block it shows how to uh, open this simulate model and the next one is a trace can trace all the sources by using the scope uh, with this signal tracing API command. Then next obtain the tra tra trace graph and also by using the uh, trace graph with uh, simulink port block port simulink model the next we can compute the edges of the trace graph and next the find the shortest path from the tra target uh, trace, trace graph the, this section shows finds the shortest control path from the simulink model and um, process the each node in the sh shortest path to obtain the corresponding blocks and segments and also the last process, the process last node in the shortest path and highlight the shortest path in the simulink as sh uh, shown in the figure here. Here now uh, when you run this model you can get this type of output for this one. Now you can get like this. Uh, next one you can find out this graph this one now you can uh, separately run this model before you run this model you can set the see the uh, simulic block these were actual speeds is a constant block it gives the constant uh, constant speed value target value is 30 were given here then these are uh, uh, driver subsystem in this driver subsystem we can input the target uh, speed and versus actual speed The next block is power demand estimation block. Here, the ma uh, engine power and motor power are calculated. Here you can see the command from uh, the peak motor torque and motor speed. And we have input to this uh, target limit option. These are motor power uh, power output block. After motor power output block, it, it gives uh, the power uh, provided by the motor and power provided by the engine and also calculate the engine power in terms of kilowatts and in motor power in terms of kilowatts. Here uh, this block parameter is the motor motor uh, power output block. We can uh, see the act, act as a switch here. So next block is vehicle dynamics block. In this vehicle dynamic blocks, what are the um, drivetrain power uh, input block is engine power and motor power and uh, after uh, this drive, drive train uh, power block this block parameter drive train power output block it adds or uh, subtract the two inputs uh, for or compares the engine power and motor power estimation and this is your uh, road resistance aero drag aero drag subsystem on power train maximum power train force and force to tire blocks are there and finally this output is vehicle speed versus um, target pace versus actual speed it should apply to the scope here now uh, you run this model for finding this all this uh, test scope now we are getting uh, the two graphs like uh, uh, before we calculate this uh, actual versus virtual nodes here you can see the node 16 in a degree 1 and out degree is 1 
each and in this manner each and every point you can view oh, it is, uh, view. this is your uh, shortest path the previous one is uh, you can by, by using this uh, red color it shows the shortest path for this one so in this manner you can analyze uh, the sh shortest path um, uh, for this hybrid electric vehicle control as per this model i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching if you are new viewer of my channel means kindly uh, subscribe my channel and share to your friends and students and don't forget to like and uh, share this video thanks for watching thank you